I recently had an interesting poll going on on LinkedIn. The question is very simple. Should you sell or give your kid business to your kids? You know, there's been a bunch of votes and more interesting, there have been tons of comments. There are some who are very vociferous about selling and others who are just as adamant that the business should be gifted to their children. You know, I know that you as a parent want the best for your children. I also know if your child is in business with you, the decision on how and whether to transfer the business to them becomes difficult. You want the best for both you and your child. You know, whether you should sell or gift your business to your children seems like a simple question, and it's way more difficult than you think. And as with most things, it's not always either or. It's one that should always be based on the facts and circumstances that you have in your particular situation. Now, for me, most of the time, it's sell the business. You see, the world I work in is primarily with businesses that have a market value of $5 million or less. This makes it easy for me. Those businesses are often relatively easy to set up to sell to the next generation. Now, it's not simple, but it's pretty easy to do that. So we can use strategies that allow us to make a significant portion of the sale pre-tax for the children, which makes the sale affordable for the next owners. So let's think about this for a second. I'm selling your business to my kids, or selling my business to my kids, and I want to get a million dollars. Now, if I do this as a stock sale, it's going to cost them $1.8 million to give me a million dollars. The reason is pretty simple. They have to pay taxes before they pay the principal on the notes. That's just the way it is. Now, on the other hand, if I can find a way to make half that business be pre-tax, so $500,000 for stock, $500,000 is a different methodology, and then we now lowered that cost by $400,000, which makes the business way more affordable. So for me, selling a business to your children is good from an emotional point of view. We just don't appreciate things as much when they're given to us versus having earned them. So most parents I talk with don't want entitled children, and I bet you don't either. Selling the business is one way to avoid the syndrome. So here are some of the exceptions I often see. Once we get a market value of over $10 million, it becomes way more difficult to sell the business in a tax-friendly way, which makes it too expensive to buy. So expenses coming close to paying fair market value for the business is going to become really, really difficult. If a business is in this situation, then it becomes crucial for children to earn the right to be the next owners of the business. They do this with how they perform their job. I believe that it's critical for you to make sure you don't gift a business to a child who's not capable of running it. Gifting requires a much more subtle approach to how you integrate your child into your business. You know, a big rule I have, whether you gift or you sell to your child, is I have your children should never join the business at a level any higher than the job they have on the outside. This means if they have a job as a janitor outside, then they start as a janitor in your company. If they're a vice president of sales at a comparable company, then they could join your company at that level. Now, one caveat is if you bring your children at a high level, they still need to learn your business. This means they need to rotate through different jobs so they can learn the nuts and bolts of your specific business. This is especially true if they join your business after working in a different industry. So here's a question for you. Shall my kids always be in the mix to buy the business? My answer for this is only if they want to be and will take some personal risk to buy it. So when you started your business, you took a tremendous amount of risk. It was probably the biggest risk you've ever taken. Doesn't it make sense that your child who wants to own the business takes at least some risk? Here's something else I want you to think about. Your kids are not your saviors. Let me say this again. Your kids are not your saviors. The other child or children being the next owners of your business is what you expect from them. Your kids are not your saviors. They should buy the business if they believe the business is a good one to own and it's a fair price for them to buy that. 
They shouldn't buy it because you can't figure out a better way to leave the business and you want to saddle them with a problem that you can't solve. This is where you want to make sure you build a sale-ready company. So if you try to tie your children to your business through financial incentives, there's a good chance they'll come to resent you. If you make it too easy for them to buy and if things go badly, there's a good chance you're the one they're going to blame, not themselves. So here's something that probably is true. Your business started as your dream. It may not be the children's dream. Don't make it their dream. Let them do that. If it becomes their dream, great. If not, support them in making another choice. You know, I would love to have a conversation with you about the rising generation in your family taking over your business. So feel free contacting me at jpatrick at stage2planning.com to set up a time to talk. In the meantime, if you're not ready to talk, download our free infographic on how you can create a sale-ready company. It'll take you through the eight steps that are needed if you want to make sure your company is one that others would want to own, and this includes your children. And while you're at it, scroll down and let me know what you think about transferring your business to your children. Hey, this is Josh Patrick. You're at The Sustainable Business. Thanks a lot for stopping by. I hope to see you back here really soon. Thank you.